It's another race vlog. And this one, bang, run through UK's Goodwood Motor Circuit 5K. And this time I've actually got a guest with me. Hey, there you go. The man's here with me. He came with me to the race and this is the first time that my son's joined me at one of these events. Goodwood Motor Circuit 5K. We're about to head off. It's gonna be a good race. Let me pick up some food. Get ourselves going. 5K coming right up. <laughs> my name is Aubrey. I'm a runner and I'm good with being me. We're gonna take you through the, the race itself and how it went. Do you know what? I absolutely love this. This is possibly one of the best 5K routes I've ever run and I wanna take you through it. We're gonna run through the race gear. We're gonna talk about uh, the event itself, the course, and how it actually went, sharing my heart rate data, all of that metrics, and then we're gonna share with you some special nutritional advice for after the race. Before I show you and talk about the race gear, it was actually really cool to have this guy with me because he helped me with the filming. So credit to Steven Spielberg over here. The kind people at Hoka provided everything that I had. Um, well, as you can see, including the race hat. So going with the vest, I love the texture. It's very lightweight. I'm gonna have links to all of this stuff if you guys wanna get to it. Just my way of saying thank you. They gave me the sleeves, love these. And you know what, functionally keep you warm, it's quite cold, but also I just love the aesthetics. I'm not gonna lie to you. And of course, my favorite race day shoe, Hoka Rocket X2. They sent me out a fresh pair and I love that. And in terms of the half tights, I went with Nike ones because I didn't have any Hoka ones to complete the look, complete the set. Doesn't really matter, but I love Nike's ones for the compartments, the textures. I love just how these half tights feel. We get in the car, we're about to head off. I'm excited because I got the little man in the co-pilot seat and we're aiming to get there for about a half nine set off. But the timing was a little bit off. Yeah. And then the sat-nav, the sat-nav took us the oh, whole completely no. different way. It took us all the way to Jamaica and back. <laughs> so then we thought that it was 9.30 yeah. and then 9 again. We checked the app registering in the car, 10.45. So uh, we, had, we had enough time to start filming some stuff. I tell you what, why don't we show them the stuff? ka <laughs> This is a message to you. All right, man, it's show time. We've got 5K coming up. We've run through. Got the little man here with me. It's going to hit different because I got the little guy with me as well. So it's really nice. It's really nice to have him here. Uh, but yeah, 5K, I'm going to enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Create a buzz with the people and just have a good time. Let's go. What are we talking about 5K? It's 3K to dad because his legs, they're like, uh, they're like bikers, but two times as big and two times as hokey. And then and, um, dad's going to be putting in that hard week. <laughs> and, his, and his back's been putting in a dirty week. So that's why it hasn't been running much. Yeah. But at this run through event, Hashtag run through. We will shall. We shall be putting in the week. Put in that week. Do you hear me, good week? We're Put putting in, in that, that week. So just a bit of background. Um, I was on a very good run going into the year. On the 7th of January, I had my 10K PB. I ran my 10K in 48 minutes 20. And unfortunately, I got injured. Uh, for those that don't know, and I've kind of kept this quiet whilst I kind of get to the bottom of it. But I woke up Christmas Eve and I just couldn't move. I had pain in my lower back, lumbar spine and I've had an MRI done on it and they've come back saying I've got a bulging disc which has a slight tear in it and we're sort of managing it. It's gonna self-correct over time. So it's all about pain management, but also keeping an eye on it. I've got further follow-up checks, but long story short, we're gonna ease back into it. This run was the first time me actually going out and actually testing how I'm feeling um, and how I am. Now, so 5K. Goodwood Motor Circuit with Run Through UK. The warm up is about to start. Game time. Oh, 
Let's go, 5K. We're gonna give this some force. It's gonna be fast. We're gonna give it everything we got. Let's go. 1K done. 423. That's not bad. Let's maintain that pace up. So let me break it down split by split. So the goal here was simple. I need to run a 22 minute 5K eventually, not at this run. To achieve that, I need to run that at four minute, 24 second per K pace. The goal here was to run the first 1K at that and then do my best for the rest. Okay, go pace for the first 2K achieved. We'll slow it down just a touch now. Ah, that's tough, but we got it. Let's go. I think I managed to stay on pace for 2Ks. The goal is gonna be trying to then, every time I go out, increase 1K at that pace all the way up to 10K, but really trying to achieve it for the 5K. So let's go through this one. We get to the second K, and I felt all right, I did. Four minute and 28. When you aggregate those times, I was on pace for this time. However, when we got to the third K mark, things started to feel very tough. My lungs weren't there, my heart rate, I could feel it. So for the third K, I clocked in at five minute, 22 seconds per K pace. And for the fourth K, I'm not, I'm not too sad about it. Actually, I'm not sad at all. I just didn't have it in me to push any further. And that, I promise you, is okay. Perfectly fine. All right, so this is normally where the triumph and music starts, and I tell you, I'm about to go all out for this last 1K. Not today. Today, I just wanna finish this race and give it everything I've got. I heard a saying that on the days you only have 40% and you give all your 40%, that's 100%. Today's one of those days. Okay, so getting to the finish line now, 5K done. We're gonna make this course the 5K time trial. For now, we'll take the time we get and come out again next time this event is on to beat that time. Let's finish strong. And then for the last K, 523. There were a few things to celebrate here. I love the fact that my son was there. Actually coming out towards the end at the finishing line, he shouted for me and I saw him. Things like that are so precious. Okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, uh, that was a tough run. There you go. Well done. Thank you very much. Cheers. So look, so look, don't get me wrong. When you get a good time at these races, it's always something to celebrate. But please don't be fooled that every single run has to be a personal best. In fact, not every single run has to be about the time. Just the fact that you came to an event, spent time with people, you know, check where you are in terms of your fitness, that's enough. And I'm not saying it's just because I didn't get a personal best. I just want to share with you the power of running when you actually consider community, when you consider the fact that actually this is a social thing. I gotta love it. And also, for me, wait, let me show you this guy. This guy cheered for me at the end of the finish line, and that's a fast. You gotta take your wins in whatever form they come. Thank you to the cookie people for providing me all of the flavors of the cookie. I still have not eaten them all, but uh, I'll be getting onto that. Thank you for the corn handing outing people for handing out the corn. If you see my son, right, make sure you search that guy because he's got more than enough. Hey, you, that's it. That's enough. Call the cops on this guy. 
You know, Dad, if you had said all the things about the food, the cookies, and the delicious corn that they make, I would have been coming to all y'all events. What's next for me? I'm just going to sign up for all the running races with my dad. Marathons, 10Ks, halves, I really don't care. I'm just going to be there for him, supporting, and uh, mainly for the cookies. Thank goodness for the cookie people. Otherwise, I would have stayed at home. When it comes to a post-race, uh -huh. you're going to need some nutrition. Proper good food. Health. Yeah. And a good diet. Protein for recovery. You're going to need something proper serious. Yeah. After your muscles start hurting, yeah. you don't need an ice bath or any of that fancy salt no. stuff. Long story short, we're going to show you what we're going to have. Yeah, so, um, yeah, this will have to do. This is proper athlete, elite athlete nutrition, this is. Um, so what's next? I'm currently doing rehab and recovery on my spine. I've got a, an appointment at Spire Hospital on the 13th, which is a Tuesday, to go through pain management. Because apparently it's going to self-rectify, but it's absolutely excruciatingly painful. Um, so let's see. We're going to go through pain management and stuff like that. I'll, I'll obviously update you. It hasn't been great. Um, that's why if you go on my Strava, I'll put a link to my Strava as well, but it's here. I haven't been running that much. So the lumbar spine can be a very tough one to navigate. So, yeah, I'll give you an update on how it goes after that. I've got the London Winter Run. I'm going to be running with Chris Ford of 40 Runs. That's exciting. I'm excited about that. All right, so the slogan at the end of all of my videos is simple because it reminds me what I'm doing here, and that is to keep your head in the clouds and feet on the ground. But I'm going to explain the slogan I'll be saying every time this guy features on the videos. And it came about from him quoting LeBron James in Space Jam when LeBron James was telling his son to keep putting in that work. Except this guy was trying to do an American accent. And this guy's American accent, well, it's not quite, um, it's not quite there. So instead he said this. For that week. <laughs> Every time this guy comes in the videos, we're gonna end the videos by saying, put what in that, that week. Oh yeah, and make sure you put in that week, not that dirty week, because that dirty week is not clean. You gotta put in that LeBron James week. See you later, guys. Put in that week.